assalamu alaikum students i hope you all are fine students we are in unit 5 that is computer programming and now we are solving the exercise of this unit and in today's lesson we will solve some of the uh, programming related questions which are given at the end of your uh, exercise of this unit that is question number 10 11 and 12 so let's see that how we can solve these three programming uh, questions <coughs> question number 10 says that write a basic program to input any number and display its square and cube so here in this question we have to input any number and the program will find out its square and cube and we have to write the code for it it's very simple first of all we have to write an input statement which will display the message enter any number and the number that we will input at runtime will be stored inside variable n further in the next statement we are declaring and initializing a variable with the name square by using the let keyword and we are writing the expression n power 2 this uh, symbol which is a kind of cape this is used for exponentiation and power as we have already studied this operator in arithmetic operators <coughs> While we were studying the arithmetic operators, we studied this exponentiation operator. So, n power 2. Instead of it, if you are unable to uh, write this uh, operator, you can write n multiplied by n, which is also is equal to n square. In the same way, in the next statement, we are declaring a variable let cube by using the let keyword and uh, it is n power 3 which means n cube instead of it you can also write n multiply by n multiply by n further in the next two statements we will be using the print statement to print the value of square and cube of that number which is very simple and at the end we will write the end keyword to finish the program whenever we execute this program first of all it will display the message enter any number with the help of this input statement and the number that we will input is let's say 4 so 4 is going to be stored inside variable n further after that the, the value of the square and cube will be evaluated now the value of n is 4 4 power 2 so it will give us 16 for, for the 16 and further in the next uh, uh, statement cube is equal to n power 3 4 cube so uh, uh, 4 multiplied by 4 16 and 16 multiplied by 4 again 64 so th this will be the output of this program whenever the print statements are executed square is equal to the value of square will be printed and cube is equal to the value of cube is going to be printed which is 64 in this case so this is how you can find out the square and cube of a number now question number 11 says that write a basic program to read any five numbers from data statement and then compute their sum and average and display the result on screen now here in this uh, uh, statement uh, they have used the word data statement and we have already studied that if there is a data statement there must be a read statement in the program and if there is a read statement there must be a data statement in a program these two statements are used at the same time or they are essentially used at the same time in a, sa uh, in a single program <coughs> so whenever there is a data statement there must be a read statement so this program actually belongs to the read and data statement program <coughs> first of all we will write a read statement 
in which we will uh, write or declare five variables because here we have to read five numbers from the data statement so for that purpose we will need five different variables so in read statement we are writing five variables a b c d and e then in the next statement we are writing because we are going to find out the sum and average so first of all we have to find the sum let sum is equal to a plus b plus c plus d plus e and then let average sum divided by 5 because the formula for finding the average is sum of all the numbers divided by number of numbers or number of uh, you can say um, uh, uh, figures or you can say uh, number of uh, digits that we have added <coughs> okay then in the next uh, two print statements we are displaying the sum and then average by using the print statement and just before the end statement we have to write the data statement in which we will provide the values for these five variables in the read statement so 2 5 3 1 and 9 you can uh, provide any numbers but here in this example or um, in this program the values are 2 5 3 1 and 9 2 is uh, going to be stored inside variable a 5 inside b 3 inside c 1 inside d and 9 is the value of e and then write the end statement so whenever we execute this uh, program so it will display the uh, sum is equal to 20 because if we, if we add these numbers 9 plus 1 10 then 3 13 5 18 and 2 20 so the sum is 20 and average when this 20 is divided by 5 so it will give you 4 and the average is 4 so this is how you can use the data and read statement or read and data statement in the same program. Question number 12 says that write a basic program to input any number. If number is greater than 0 then display positive number otherwise display negative number. So here they have used the word if and wherever the word if is used in a statement it means that there is a conditional uh, statement involved in the program or we have to evaluate a condition in this program or where we have to make some decision among uh, two possible uh, outputs so we have to uh, apply some conditional uh, statement to the program so here in this program we will be using the if then else statement to solve this program first of all we will input any number for that reason we will be writing the input statement which will uh, accept uh, a number at runtime while displaying the message enter any number and the number is going to be stored inside variable n that we are going to input at runtime after that the condition is going to be evaluated the if then else statement is going to be executed if n is greater than 0 if the value of n that we have input at runtime is greater than 0 then print positive number else if it is not greater than 0 then print negative number so here and write the end statement so whenever we execute this program first it is going to display a message enter any number and let's say let's say for example we are going to input the value minus 7 so in this case the condition will be evaluated minus 7 is greater than 0 which is false minus 7 is not greater than 0 in fact it is less than 0 and it's a negative number whatever the number which is less than 0 will be a negative number so as a result it will display the message negative number so uh, I think it's very uh, simple in the last lesson I'll be demonstrating these three programs practically in the QB64 ID so don't forget to watch that video 
okay uh, now we are going to demonstrate this program practically let me open the qbc issue for ide the first program is to uh, input any number and find its square and cube so clear screen now write the input statement which will display the message enter any number and the variable is let's say n then we will write the let statement for some is sorry uh, for square is equal to n power 2 then let q is equal to n power 3 then write the print statement square is equal to semicolon and square the variable then print q is equal to and q the variable and then write the end statement so now run this program let's say the value is 4 16 and 64 execute it once again and put any other value like for example 9 so this will give you the result <coughs> next is uh, uh, no the next program says that uh, to read any five numbers from data statement and then compute their sum and average okay so here we are going to use the read and data statement first of all read a b c d and e these are the five variables in the read statement let sum is equal to a plus b plus c plus d plus e then let average is equal to sum divided by 5 because total number of numbers are 5 then we are going to write the print statement to display the sum is equal to sum and then print average sorry average is equal to semicolon and average the variable and then we have to write the data statement just before the end statement so in data i am going to provide some numbers or uh, we are going to provide five numbers actually and let's uh, say 3 okay, and then write the end statement so now we are going to execute this program start <coughs> here you can see that the sum is 17 that uh, 2 uh, 5 plus 2 7 8 8 6 14 14 and 3 it will give you 17 and when 17 is divided by 5 it will give you 3.4 as an average so <coughs> let's say if we make it 4 
here you can see that now the sum is 20 and the average is 4 so whatever the numbers that you will provide over here th those are going to be stored uh, while following the order of the variables in the read statement and uh, inside these variables the numbers are going to be stored which are provided in the data statement and further the other statements will be executed accordingly so this is how you can use the read and data statement for finding the sum and average of five numbers okay. the last uh, program which is given in your book that is question number 12 it says that try to basic program to input any number if the number is greater than zero then display positive numbers otherwise uh, otherwise display negative number so <coughs> first we will write an input statement which will display the message enter any number <coughs> the variable is sorry the variable is n now we will write the if then else statement if n is greater than 0 Now we are going to execute this program. Okay. Here it is asking for entering any number. Let's say the number is minus 7. So it is displaying negative number. Execute it once again. Let's say this time the number is uh, 23 which is a positive number so it will display the message positive number but here we have a problem let's say if the number is 0 so in that case it will display the message negative number which is wrong logically it is wrong because we know that 0 is uh, neither a positive number nor negative number so what should be done in this case if the number that we provide here is zero like for example if i execute this program and i will i am going to enter a number that is zero so it is displaying negative number which is logically a wrong uh, answer for this it should display uh, the, um, some message that the number is zero or the number is neither negative or nor positive so how we can handle this uh, you can call it exception actually so what should be done in this case it is not discussed in your book but it is important to uh, know that how you can handle this problem so for that purpose we will uh, just write an another if statement with this else uh, statement so in this case we are going to uh, edit this uh, program out if n is equal to 0 then uh, print number number is 0 and so now this is ok in this case it is going to be uh, to evaluate two conditions actually first it will see that whether the value of n is greater than 0 in this case if it is true it will display the message positive number while ignoring the rest of the
statements if the value of n is not greater than 0 means that it is less than 0 so in that case it will display the message negative number but before that it will see that if the value of n is equal to 0 means the value of n is 0 so in that case it will display the message the number is 0 so now that exception is handled ok we are going to execute this program now here I am going to input the value 0 so it displays the message the number is 0 now the exception is handled and it shows the valid answer f5 execute it once again let me provide a positive number that is 56 positive number execute it once again let's provide negative number minus 34 negative number and if you provide a uh, zero number the value as zero so it should display the number is zero so i think it's very simple all of you must practice these uh, programs all of these programs which are given in the uh, chapter or given in the exercise or given in examples you have to practice these uh, programs at your home on your laptops and computers because without practice you will not be able to write these programs in the paper so take care thanks a lot Allah Hafiz ok students so the exercise of this unit ends here if you have any question you can ask me in the comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel computer tuition academy thanks a lot take care Allah Hafiz